Oh yeah. Was not. Yeah. Well, see, we we had in those days what they I guess they call it Negro History Week or something like that, and so we we knew about Sojourn of Truth and Harriet Tubman and and you know people people like that. Uh, Did that information come through the black media or from your family or? I suppose. I suppose it was more from uh, we didn't get we in in junior high school we got it because we had all black teachers uh, in high school I don't remember getting much of that at all but we we did get it from other other places other sources like uh, um, I know you all could edit this out here because I know you're an expert um, anyway <laughs> we we they had what they call the Colored Y. That was what they call it. It wasn't called the Negro Y. It was called the Colored Y. Incidentally, the same Colored Y my father later bought the building was what in New York you call a brownstone. And um, to digress a moment, we'd play ping pong in this room. You miss the shot. You say, "Oh damn it!" And you'd hit the wall and knock out some plaster. Later, I put that plaster back when my father owned the building. I laid hardwood floors and whatnot. But the um, but at that Y, we learned a lot. There was a man named Jensen, J-E-N-S-E-N, Hilmar Ludwig Jensen Sr. And he was black, but had that name. Um, reminds me of another story I have to tell you. But he, he was a very, very well-educated man. He was the first per person who said to me, Dave, it's not theater, it's theater. I said, oh, okay. And he says, not for, uh, frontward and backward, it's forward. And I remember today that he was the one who first taught me that. And he taught us an awful lot. My stepmother was a very well-educated woman, had a, a master's uh, degree from, I think, NYU, as I recall, and had, was a graduate of Howard University in, in 1929. And she was pretty, pretty smart, and she, she taught me a lot. So we, we knew that there were blacks that had accomplished, and, and which was important because it is my contention that if a black does well in any discipline, an architect, an engineer, a lawyer, an actor, in any discipline, it helps the rest of us in, in disciplines that are totally unrelated because it suggests to us that we too can achieve. Because black folks, when I was a child, we'd been brainwashed. He said, Africa, we thought of Tarzan. And, and we, we just didn't know. So imagine my joy when, when I went to uh, South Africa in 1991 as a guest of Nelson Mandela in the ANC and, and saw, and then later when he was inaugurated the president, I'm standing next to Colin Powell and all these planes went flying over and Colin said, yeah, and they're all his. <laughs> I said, right on. But, um, but we, uh, fortunately, uh, we we did learn through Black History Week and whatnot. We learned of some of our our heroes, people who accomplished, you know, George Washington Carver, all kinds of folks like that. We knew you knew these names, and uh, some of some of my heroes really are my contemporaries, and some even younger than I. People like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. These are two are my heroes, uh, but but they're you know I'm uh, if, if Martin Luther King were alive, he'd be you know, about my age or younger. 